Try to relax his forearm and his elbow. So we'll hit lung 11. You want me to put arm here? Yeah, just relax it. And I'm going to go a little bit of large intestine 4. And usually with people like this, I use a 15 millimeter needle. With him, I'm using 30. At first, I was a little bit nervous. I didn't know how my body was going to react. I had to put a positive mindset in, and by doing that, it, it takes away that doubt. It's a 2015 F-250. Uh, I mean, it's barely got any miles in it. It's a diesel truck, so um, they usually don't even get broken in like 100,000 miles. You know, it's the, the, the turbo's redone on it, and you know, it's fun. If, I, if I'm not driving my Mustang, because it's been down for a little bit, it's um, you get the motors getting rebuilt and get some stuff done. So this, is, uh, this gives me my fix of speed and fun. Gotta get this, gotta get this hair cleaned up, man. I almost had to go to sports cut, sport cut again, man. <laughs> Edged up, looking pretty. I like it. Picking the right barber is like picking the right coach. You gotta trust them, man. <laughs> Take care, guys. Hi, how are you? Good. Did Trace tell you I was coming? Yeah, he just. Okay, okay, yeah. He'll be right out, okay? Okay, cool. As you can imagine, adjusting Big Steve is like how he trains. It ain't easy. It's basically like holding a tree trunk. You gotta dislodge it. There it is. Good. Good. Oh, that was good. He got it just a little. There it is. One more off rim. Now breathe. <laughs> this is an alternating current. This is an interferential. What I'm doing, we're going to bisect right through his periscapular muscles right through here. He gets tight through there. Yeah, I'm real big on the, the prehab stuff. Um, that's kind of what I call it. Instead of rehab when you're you know, already injured and you try to prevent injury. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just like maintaining a vehicle. It's the amount of, of wear and tear that we put on our bodies when you're prepping. Um, just doing things like going to chiropractor, getting deep tissue mas massage. Try to relax his forearm and his elbow. So we'll hit lung 11. You want me to put arm here? Yeah, just relax it. And I'm going to go a little bit of large intestine 4. And usually with people like this, I use a 15 millimeter needle. With him, I'm using 30, lung seven. <laughs> it, it's certain acupuncture points you're hitting. I hit a, it's a lung 11 spot on him, and it'll relax irritation around his common extensor tendon. He gets irritation in his, well, tinnitus in his elbows. I could be late on a Friday night, he's still here. He's like, come on, you know, get me in. So he, he's very accessible uh, for me and, and uh, Helps me a lot, definitely through my prep and my off season. Is and uh, I mean, there's times where I mean I'm hurting. You throw a rib out, your back's out, your hips are out, and he gets me uh, everything in line. Yep. 
Georgie. Hey, Steve. <laughs> Having a coach like George has really been a big part to help me further my career and, and do things right. And I think too many people want to rush things and you know what, I want to go in six months turn pro and I want to be on Olympia stage in a year and all these things. I need you to start sending me like uh, pictures now that we get closer every like four or five days. Okay. So don't let it go past five days, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I can start making manipulation, like go up and down on certain things. Okay. Because I really want you to be peeled, man, early. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely coming in um, between the training and, and the diet and everything is really working together. Um, excited, you know, to see the changes, and I, I feel good. You look like you're actually, believe it or not, your muscles are maturing, and that's amazing. Because now, as soon as you get leaner, you get more deeper lines and stuff. So that's all going to look amazing under the light. You know? Yeah, absolutely. God gave us eyes in front of our face so we don't look backward. So let's just look forward, man, and hopefully this year will be your best year ever. Being versed as a bodybuilder is is important to me. Uh, there's some guys that just, hey, I'm 100% I'm bodybuilder, and that's cool, and that's your thing, you know? And um, one of the people that I kind of looked up to in the sport starting was, was Jay Cutler. And to me, Jay Cutler was the guy that was very diversified in what he did in business. He branded himself. He was one of the guys that kind of pioneered a lot of things for guys like me to really be, say, how do I make this a business? And how do I, you know, make a living at doing something I love? Good. Elbows up just a little. There you go. Flat spread. Big breath, feet down hard. Pull up big, squeeze on that chest. Seeing the changes and, and getting the positive feedback from my coaches, that's things that motivate me. Bodybuilding is a little bit about working smarter, not harder. It's about really maintaining what you've earned and gained in the gym and refine it and, and tone it and polish it to, to show on stage.